Hello, everyone, and welcome to Intercalation Station. We share the latest news in the battery world, intercalated right into your inbox. I'm Nicholas. This is my co-host, Andrew, and today we have the honor of speaking with Jean. Jean is a CEO and co-founder of Echion Technologies, a Cambridge UK-based battery tech startup, which spun out of the University of Cambridge in March 2017. Echion Technologies enables super fast charging capabilities in lithium ion batteries without compromise through its proprietary mixed niobium oxide nanotechnology. Over the last year, the company has passed many significant milestones, including demonstration of its technology in commercial size three amp hour pouch cells, establishing industrial partnerships to develop cells for the automotive market and production scale up. Prior to Echion, Jean was a translational fellow and graduate researcher at the Cambridge University Engineering Department and is an engineering graduate of Ecole Centrale Paris. So Jean, thanks for joining us today. Hi everyone, thanks, uh, thanks Nick and, and Andrew for inviting me on your show. I look forward to telling you more about Echion. Yeah, really excited for the conversation. So to get started, you know, what is Echion Technologies? Like, what, tell, tell us a little bit more about the team, like what you're doing and kind of how old the company is and what stage you're at. Right, yeah, so Echion is a, is a, is a four-year-old startup. Uh, we, we spun out of, out of uh, Cambridge University Engineering Department in, uh, in 2017. Uh, we've grown the, the company, uh, my co-founders and, and I, from basically three academics uh, in an academic lab with, uh, with good ideas uh, to what is now a commercial entity uh, with 20 employees and, and growing fast, uh, which now you know, obviously has its own facilities, but most importantly, its own product and its own uh, customers uh, who are now, now paying to, to trial uh, the material products which we have uh, refined over the years. Uh, that's, that's where we are at. And who is your co-founder? Yeah, my, my co-founder is, um, is um, Alex Groombridge, uh, who, who did his PhD in, in Cambridge University uh, with me. Uh, and uh, the, the company was, was also co-founded by um, the two uh, Cambridge academics who were my PhD supervisors. That's Dr. Adam Boyce and Dr. Michael DeVolder in the engineering department. Amazing. Okay, and I'm I'm really curious why Echion. What does the name Echion mean? <laughs> yeah, that's a that's a that's a very good one. I think I think you know the story, you know the, the real the real the real story is that Echion as a name was found at sort of eleven thirty p.m. in a, in a Cambridge pub uh, after after many <laughs> many pints of drinks. It's it's not something we. You, you know, you tell quite often, but finding a, a good company name is, is one of the most difficult things in, in starting a company. <laughs> I'm, I'm half serious. Uh, and uh, Echion, uh, Echion, uh, well, at, at the time when we were finding, uh, you know, starting Echion, we, we, were, we were looking at, uh, looking at nanostructures uh, that looked like an echidna, hence the name Echion. Uh, we're not looking at these nanostructures anymore, uh, but uh, the name has stuck. It's also Echion is also a character in the Greek mythology, who is a nice one. So, yeah, we're sticking with that. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah, multiple meanings, I guess. Okay, so well, that's what you get at eleven thirty after a three point. Yeah, <laughs> very very profound. <laughs> so, what exactly does Echion do today? What's the product? Yeah, so the, the, the product uh, is a new uh, class of anode materials for lithium ion batteries. Uh, so we've developed three product lines uh, of mixed niobium oxide anode materials, which, uh, which enable, uh, basically the USP is, you know, we enable super fast charging lithium ion batteries, uh, extremely long cycle lives, high safety, uh, with minimal trade-off in energy density versus uh, versus graphite-based uh, systems, which are which are the conventional anodes that that you see in, in most batteries everywhere. Um, so we're not you know we're not fundament we're not improving on on energy density and we we're not in the in the realms of what you reach with 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 silicon anodes or with, with solid-state batteries. Our place is different. We're we're really focusing on on the speed of charge, the cycle life, the power density in charge and, and discharge, 
uh, and and there's you know there's, there's there's room for that sort of technology which we see as the next generation of of high powered batteries. Yeah, really really interesting. Um, it's obviously a very hot topic today: fast charging and fast charging for electric vehicles. Um, I'm just trying to take a little bit of a step back and just understand, you know, what your story is in in fast charging. You know, why do you care? I'm I'm trying to picture John as a early. <laughs> world you know why is it why is it so important to you and and the company yeah no uh, you know I, I i did my phd on on, on fast charging battery materials I, I developed other fast charging battery materials um at, at the time so i think it's it's always been uh, a topic that has been uh, very close to, to my heart uh, i think the, the the interest you know it has to be um, i think it's it's because it's it is a big unmet needs that that we see in, in the market today this this need for fast charging i think there's there's a there's a huge focus on energy density and dollar per kilowatt hour which is which is driven by uh, by car oems uh, but when you look at a number of different applications in in in, in mobility in in premium consumer application or in grid applications uh, performance metrics like um, yeah fast charging High safety, high cycle life are actually more important uh, and 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 benefit benefit the end user on a total cost of ownership basis when when you place yourself at the at the application level. So there's there's a big unmet need. That's what we see in the market today. And also, I think as the you know as the movement of electrification develops across across many sectors, um, all the industries, all these different verticals are maturing. Uh, and that's that's what I see today in the in the car industry. And and you start to have conversation with car OEMs who have the maturity to tell you, well, you know what, I'm ready to to take a small hit on energy density if uh, if I can have offer fast charging uh, to to my customers and a longer cycle life and a higher safety. I'm I'm at least willing to have the discussion. Which I think is is something that we didn't see uh, 18 months ago. I think 18 months ago, if you talk to a car manufacturer, they would tell you all I care about is energy density and dollar per kilowatt hour. Uh, as things are developing and uh, people are maturing and, and being able to look at different technologies, I think you you have a wider uh, spectrum of of solutions and and places where battery technologies can go. So that's that's the appeal. Right, I think that's a really good point. There's, there's just so many different classes of people. You know, it's not just one person driving the car in the exact same way. It's there's there's the commuter, there's a long distance driver, there's you know people who drive very irregularly, or people who drive very repeatedly um, every single day. So there's all these different segments of different types of drivers, and you know I think we're going to see a lot of different OEMs shifting their business models to create cars that suit many different types of drivers rather than today where it's like one car that could suit many different types of behaviors. Uh, so that's a really good, interesting point. Um, what do you think, Andrew? Yeah, I think, you know, yeah, I guess the the narrative up to now has has been about, you know, competing against the, uh, the fuel pump at the petrol station, right? Um, and um, I guess to preface this, we've had a sneak peek at um, the upcoming uh, Echion white paper and so you know a lot of this is talking about you know when you talk about super fast charging um, are there any specific you know beyond beyond just um, say consumer mobility are there any particular applications that um, the performance metrics of the Echion mixed niobium oxide you know like how do, how does that map onto any other of these segments? Yeah no of course there are and, uh, and, and if I'm honest I think the the Mobility, or at least the automotive applications, are are something we see in the in the long in the long term as a long term objective for for Echion. I think as a as a you know, reasonably early stage battery startup, starting with this as the entry market is is, is not the right thing to do. We we have a number of of beachhead markets uh, where where the need for fast charging technologies is is perhaps even more so present than in than in automotive, and which are easier to penetrate, and which is Really, where we focus ninety percent of our of our time right now. Uh, so it's it's been quite a 
quite a journey and an interesting one to identify uh, which, you know, what are these applications, you know, what are the applications that require, that really, really want the fast charging um, to a degree that no other battery technology can, can accept. And the way we've done that is that we've, you know, we've, we've developed cell demonstrators, you know, our, our business model really, our, our model is to sell materials to sell manufacturers, but, but, but we need to create a market here. And, and the way we do that is, is by, is by developing cell demonstrators. I think Nick, Nick mentioned our, our three empower pouch cell. Uh, we, we're, we're just releasing now our, our 12 empower uh, I saw I saw the nail I saw the nail test online. That was oh, really oh, good. Yeah, there, there, <laughs> there you go. <laughs> there, there, there you go. Um, so the and there'll, there'll be more coming. There's, there's more in the pipeline with uh, with nice big partners uh, joining in. So you know, really, we what we're doing is we're you know we're shipping these these cells, this this prototype demonstrator cells to end users across across different industries, and having the conversation. You know, right now that you've evaluated the cell it's you know it's a reasonable commercial format uh, you can compare it like for like for what you have you know uh, you see a benefit uh, and uh, I think where we've had good traction uh, for sure uh, is in basically any kind of vehicle that uh, that 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 needs to capture regenerative braking well in order in order to, to in order to function well so that's that's hybrids, uh, you know, all sort of hybrid vehicles from from, from cars to, to trucks and, and buses, uh, but other other applications as well in in the rail industry, for 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 example. Uh, so that's you know that's definitely a segment where the fast charger, especially the the pulse power, is mm -hmm. is key, and where you know if you're looking at sort of heavy duty applications where the, the safety and long life aspects are, are key as well. So there's, there's a very good match there. Um, another vertical where we have good success is I think everything that has to do with, uh, with call it premium consumer goods. So, you know, you can think of a, think of a, a premium loan mower or a premium consumer drone. Uh, it's, it's basically a segment where uh, fast charging is is a differentiator. It's, it's premium, and and typically the typically the the you know the, the battery is a small cost in, in in the whole in the whole product, but an increase in performance in fast charging is a massive differentiator for for the end user. Uh, so we're we're getting very good traction there as well. Um, where where we have uh, emerging uh, applications, I, I would I would call them. Is uh, we're starting to have conversations with uh, with, uh, with players in the in the grid storage uh, grid storage ESS industry, where you know for some specific applications uh, the the high input high output power is 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 needed, and and most importantly there it's it's the cycle life and the and the calendar life which. Which makes a big difference when when you consider actual projects with with the need mm -hmm. to 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 underwrite them uh, with with insurance companies. So, so that's I'd, I'd call that a more of an emerging market for us, uh, but it's only good traction uh, in the others. Yeah. Yeah, it does seem like a lot of these applications. Um, I guess Echion has, as you're saying, you guys are sort of like making this market right. You're like bringing in a set of materials that you know, perhaps when someone goes into design an overall product, um, doesn't necessarily realize that they're able to reach these capabilities, right? And I think, you know, one of the examples that, um, I guess like a lot of examples that fall under um, fast charging are like, when they talk about fleets, you know, like when, when things need to be out there operating as fast as possible. Um, yeah, so whether, you know, whether that's like public transport or even like, uh, like drone delivery fleets, you know, I think that's like a really exciting yeah, no, that's 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 another big one. I, I haven't really talked about. Thanks for <laughs> reminding me. Yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah, no, uh, it, it was with all sort of all sort of fleets of electric vehicles. Uh, you know, exactly as you say. You know, the downtime associated with charging costs money when you run a fleet. Either you know, maybe it's a fleet of fleet of, I don't know, mining equipment or a fleet of robots in a warehouse or or a fleet of taxis or a fleet of buses. Uh, charging is is downtime that costs money, uh, and and if you can if you can uh, if you can limit 
that time, uh, you know, the, the level of service is, is better. And, and, and you save money by having uh, more active vehicles at, at any one time, basically. Uh, so again, uh, again, that's, that's an area where, where we see good traction from, from end users who, who engage in that value proposition. Yeah, and I think, you know, it, 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 it's, good to, it's good to hear, you know, it sounds like a lot of, you know, we've been, try, we've been keeping an eye on a lot of, um, I guess, these like new battery ventures. And um, one of the stories that sort of really stuck with me was when I heard about um, the initial strategy from Sila Nano um, and how they were sort of, you know, they were saying, okay, like, let's, let's not try, they're not trying to, you know, be put into it, like you're saying, you know, you're not going to be in a consumer vehicle as your very first product um, like their first target was just like a wireless earbud you know in consumer electronics so I think you know that's a that does seem like that is the most uh, effective strategy to like really develop um, a technologies um, and I guess you know if on the material front it, it, because you know at least for you know I, I didn't come into this from like a super material science um, background so I wasn't really familiar with um, mixed niobium oxides as a battery material um, and in your white paper, you guys sort of talk about, you know, that it was first, it first got linked, I guess, like Naomi got linked with energy storage back in the 80s. Um, and then you guys, and then you guys, Echion has gone on this journey where they've sort of tested all these different combinations and permutations of materials. You know, how has that, um, I guess, like material screening process been in terms of, you know, there's, I, I'm, I'm guessing there's a lot of like fundamental science that goes on um, at Echion. Yeah, yeah, there, there is. I mean, it's, um, it's, uh, no, it's, it's an interesting question. I think it's, uh, it's right at the intersection of how do you, you know, how do you feed in, you know, specific insight that you, that you have from fundamental science, and that's, it's coming from our staff at Echion, but also collaborations with, you know, with, with experts at, at Birmingham University, for instance, and, and other people doing, doing BFT and, uh, and, and that sort of stuff, feeding that with uh, you know, these insights with uh, how do you execute and, and operate a, a business that can, that can actually, you know, do these, these hundreds of, of, of tests of different material combinations and, and compare well them in a cell because, uh, you know, it's, it's actually not, not trivial to, 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 to put together an operation that can do that well and to, to professional standards. Yeah. Uh, you, do, you have these two pieces and the, the last piece is is compare that to the feedback that you get from 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 the market because uh, I think there's a you know it's it's all well and good to have the academically perfect material at some point you need to confront it to to what the market wants uh, and uh, and 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 then you iterate that that loop as many times as you can so mm -hmm. so what yeah what what we've done at at Echion, uh, as you've said I think we you know, we've we've tested don't know what the exact number is uh, probably in the eight hundred. Uh, of of different material compositions in that in that mixed niobium oxide space, so really looking at the periodic table, mixing niobium with with other elements, and 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 identifying uh, certain certain corners of the space that provide specific benefits that certain types of customers want, mm -hmm. and and the key to do that, I think, is to uh, is to is to involve partners as much as possible in the process uh you know i think i've i've mentioned the universities there's this, this birmingham this cambridge university of course uh, that's that's our roots uh there's ucl that's that's on the academic side i think on the on the industry side you know there's a number of press releases you can go have a look at on our website but you know we have long-standing collaborations with with companies like like Johnson Matthey, with with Allison Transmission, with uh, Kinetic, which you know, which which all feed uh, information and, and really help us focus on what's important at the application level and and what does that mean in terms of in terms of cell performance and then in terms of uh, material uh, materials performance and that's that's a, it's not a straightforward process to 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 get to that uh, either. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, and just on the topic of partners, you know, uh, we've seen a lot of these demonstrations from Echion, you know, either from these uh, three amp hour and 12 amp hour cells. Um, you also mentioned that Echion was mainly in the um, materials business. So is there, are there like cell manufacturing capabilities at the moment or are there partnerships um, that help 
get those things um, validated at an earlier stage? Um, yeah, no, um, yeah. What 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 we have today in Akion, it's it's about to change as we're as we're expanding. Uh, mm -hmm. But uh, you know, to to date, what we've had is 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 the capability to to produce material at uh, at the lab scale and small small pilot scale. Um, you know, we we want within nine months time we want to be able to 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 produce in the in the hundreds of kilos of of material per month because that's 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 the sort of scale that our cell manufacturing customers uh, are asking materials for. So mm -hmm. you know, to date, to date, right now we're not able to do that in house. We've had to outsource it to to tool manufacturers. So that's that's how we've fulfilled our first sort of tens and and hundreds of kilos orders from from cell manufacturers. We want to bring that in house. Um, in terms of cell manufacturing capabilities, you know we are very good uh, at uh, making a very large number of coin cells reliably and, and testing them uh, one, one against another in, in testing different materials, different electrode formulations, different cell designs, different cathodes, and 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 so on. So that's that's something I think we're quite good at now. Uh, what uh, we are also able to do to make small pouch shells, uh, but what what we are what we've done so far for our larger cell demonstrators on three amp hour and the twelve amp hour is that we've we've outsourced that to 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 partners and or um, subcontractors. So I think it's mm -hmm. I think you can see on the on the twelve amp hour. Uh, safety video that you know the test was was performed by by kinetic battery services um, they're all the one who, who made the cell uh, we it's it's a nice it's a nice way to accelerate things and to have a layer of third party validation i think to 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 outsource this which which is appreciated by by end users mm -hmm. yeah it definitely yeah. sounds like there's a lot going on um you mentioned you know in the white paper you mentioned you tested 500 plus different niobium materials. Uh, you, you mentioned just now it was actually 800. So, I mean, I imagine that number is always evolving in terms of the number of iterations you do. I'm just really, I'd love to learn a little bit more because um, you know, we, we see a lot of universities spinning out different technologies in the US and the UK. And you know, how has it been your experience in terms of spinning out a company from university and yourself evolving as an academic and mm. entrepreneur? How has that been like for you in the UK? Uh, yeah, that's uh, certainly was quite a journey, and and, and still is. Uh, I think it's uh, it's especially in the battery industry. I think there's there's a big gap between uh, academia and, and, and industry uh, in terms of you know even even this even the you know the, the battery performance metrics, the cell performance metrics are just not the same uh, in academia versus in industry i think to be to be fair uh, i think since since 2017 when we started i think academia has come a long way to uh, to actually getting to 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 standards of of reporting that that is what the industry wants i think it's, it's definitely on on the right path but when we started there was there was a big gap and i think there is still a, bit, a gap uh in terms of yeah when you you know you can have Cell results that will get you a wonderful paper, but that uh, an experienced cell manufacturer will will not even look at uh, because it's basically not tested in, in the right mm -hmm. right relevant conditions. And and I think that was you know technologies uh, from the point of view of, of technology that that's certainly something something we, we had to confront quite quite early on. And that's that's the technology. That's just one aspect. I think that that's to be expected. I think as a you know, as a as a founder and, and the CEO of, of the of the of the company, uh, making the mental switch from, you know, I'm an I'm an academic looking at interesting things, doing at doing looking at interesting fundamental stuff to, you know, I'm now uh, I'm now running a company who has customers or who wants customers because you don't have them at the beginning, uh, developing a commercial product. I don't care if it if it's interesting. I need I need to have something that works and that pleases the customer. That's 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 quite a, quite a mental switch to make. And I think uh, I was lucky to be well surrounded by well by my co-founders, of course, but but also by uh, by a number of of mentors that that came alongside and uh, and really uh, helped 
install the right mental process and the right, you know, the right company structure to make sure that that this this happens. Uh, and, and I think I'm quite we're quite lucky in Cambridge to to have that that support from 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 Cambridge Enterprise and a number of of other uh, people who who are active in in, in this area. So uh, I think finding finding your team quite quite early on is is, is super important to to get get in the right right track. Yeah, that's fantastic. And I think you touched on one point about customers and ultimately in this whole business of batteries, it's, you know, you, are you making what the customer wants? So I want to ask you, you know, why I, there's a lot of different fast charging technologies out there. Some are related to electrodes like Echion, some are related to more infrastructure and some are related to business models, like not even related to fast charging, but they'll just, um, you know, model a business after swapping out batteries in and out. So from a customer's perspective, you know, why, why is Echion the one for fast charging? <laughs> no, that's a, that's, that's, that's a great, great question. And, uh, and I think the, the honest, the very honest answer is that, you know, we're not the one, we're one of the ones. I think there's a, there's, there's, there's a huge variety, variety of, of applications out there that each goal for for different technologies at you know at, at different price points at different performance points uh, and and also you know in, in different geographies working with different business models and and so on there's there's a lot of uh, lot of parameters and and at, and at some point you just can't you just can't theorize all this and predict all this you, you, it's it's just you just need to be pragmatic it's serendipity you know you are at the right time at the right place with a sub manufacturer who wants your technology uh, and and you work well together and that's and that's that's how you execute so i think that's uh, i think yeah my my answer is uh, you know we are the one uh, if if we can if we can deliver on 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 what we what we promise and i think we we have a good track record so far uh, but also deliver on on executing, on on operating, on on being commercially minded and, and easy to work with, uh, with uh, with with our customers who 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 are really the, the cell manufacturers. Yeah, I mean that's that's incredible, and honestly, that's that's really what a startup's all about. That you can't you know control all the factors, but really excited, really want to see this in the in the in the market. So we wish you all the best. Um, just you know, this is we're coming towards the end of our, our our conversation. But is there anything that we've missed in this chat that you'd like to cover for for the audience before we close out? No, I think there's um there's a number of exciting uh, stuff that is exciting from my point of view coming that is that is about to come from 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 Echion. Uh, we're expanding. Uh, there is you know our new generation of uh, of of twelve twelve amp pouch shells. And, and, and very soon other commercial format cells which we'll do with, with partners which which will be available for um, you know for for testing by by interested uh, end users so you know do get in touch if you want to to, to know more and, and eventually to test test the, the cells um, all the materials for that for that matter uh, you know we're always very keen to engage with with cell manufacturers if you want to know more about uh, some of our stories and, and commercial progress. There's, there's, there's quite a collection of, of press release on, on the website. And most importantly, if you want to learn more about the, you know, the, the applications and the technology, there's, there's a first white paper that is being released right now on, uh, on basically the product market fit and, and what, what we've discussed today, uh, what applications want super fast charging. That's the first white paper uh, and, and Pretty soon after, uh, in the in the next uh, next next few next few weeks, uh, there'll be a second uh, white paper uh, focused more on the fundamentals of technology, going deep inside inside the, the cell level and material level results that, that we've achieved. So that's that's coming soon. Amazing. Yeah, we look forward to reading your second white paper on the website too. Yes. Cool. So if you know if you enjoyed the chat, you give us a follow at Interclation Station. And thanks again for your time, John. Thanks, Nick. Thanks, Andrew. That was that was great. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks for your time. Thanks.